Nepal is surrounded with many Himalayan regions, plenty of hills and mountains, and the Tarai Plain region, better known as the country with many temples. Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal. Located in Kathmandu also is the Holy Pashpatinath Temple. Lord Pashpati Nath is the supreme god of the Hindus. Paying homage to the Jyotir Lingam also means a great boon and a successful life to mankind. While paying homage to Lord Pashpati Nath, one has to pay homage first of all to the shrines of gods and goddesses outside the Pashpati Nath temple. Or one can directly enter through the south gate of the Pashpati Nath temple and pay homage to 64 lingams Kirtimukh Bhairab, Unmatta Bhairab, Astamatrika, Navagra, Hanuman and advance towards the west side of the temple by paying homage to Nandi, Trisul, Jaleshwar, Basuki Nag, Gupteshwar, Lal Ganesh, Surya, Jalsahi Vishnu again by paying homage to Aryagat and resting for a while at Mukti Mandap, then one proceeds by paying homage to Santaneshwar, Sri Krishna and by touching the Dharamshila, one has to enter the main temple from the south side. One should not encircle Lord Shiva, instead one must make a half circle, the reason being that one should not cross the holy water offered to Lord Shiva. By entering through the south gate, one has to pay homage to Ishan Mukh face and then to the Purva Mukh eastern face and then one has to return to the Dakshin Mukh south face and in the same process one has to pay homage to the Uttar Mukh north face and lastly the Paschim Mukh west face. While doing this, the holy water offered to Lord Shiva cannot be crossed over. By coming out of the temple, the entire homage is completed. This Pashupath region is filled with various art and architecture, small temples and idols of gods and goddesses. The wall and the wooden frame of the temple is decorated with artwork where different forms of Lord Shiva can be seen. A big embodiment of the bull made of brass can be seen in front of the main gate of the temple. The sacred Bhagmati river flows by the temple and the water of the river is offered to Lord Shiva as pure Jal or holy water. Hindu people celebrate Mahashivratri festival by performing puja, paying homage to Mahadev, Shiva or Rudra, same names of Shiva. The auspicious day of Shivratri in Pashpadina temple begins with thousands of devotees, pilgrims from different parts of Nepal, India and from various countries including sadhus and saints arriving to the temple. Locally known as Falgun Krishna Chaturdashi, devotees start their festive activities from early morning in the day and at night. On this day, Hindu devotees take bath in the morning, fast for the whole day and go to Holy Pashupatinath temple 
or other nearby Shiva temples in order to worship Lord Shiva in a grand manner. On this auspicious day, there's always a huge crowd of devotees in every Shiva temple in Nepal. The traditional custom is maintained since time immemorial in the sense that Shivaratri is always celebrated with great excitement and enthusiasm by remaining awake for the whole night, singing holy songs and chanting mantras, eating Shiva's favorite food and burning fire in different localities of Nepal. There is always a long bee line of devotees during the Shivaratri festival at Pashpati Nath. Now, Monterosa Treks and Expedition has come up with a special arrangement with the Pashpati Nath Area Development Trust that arranges puja tickets to the devotees. Such puja tickets allow the devotees to speed up their homage by collecting prasad as well. Such religious as well as trekking tours, mountaineering expeditions are being organized and managed by the Monte Rosa Treks and Expedition. We hope to operating similar unforgettable trips in future as well. <laughs>